What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. I don't know what they're doing, and I don't think they do either, but we, of course, got the report that Robert Downey Jr. was going to play Victor Von Doom, or at least a Victor Von Doom. Uh, most prevailing theory is, of course, that they're doing the Demon in an Armor storyline, and he will play Victor Von Doom, but he's really a Tony Stark variant who is cursed to be Victor Von Doom in that world. And by the end, everything uh, will shake out and we'll get an actual Victor Von Doom played by another actor. And this is all just window dressing to get Robert Downey Jr. back as Iron Man. I don't think that would surprise anyone till he's 90. Um, but here we go. According to a scoop from Alex Perez at the Cosmic Circus, their iconic relationship, that of course between Reed Richards and uh, Dr. Doom, Victor Von Doom, will be non-existence. In most of the timelines, they are friends, uh, timelines, comics, stuff like that. They are friends beforehand, uh, you know, uh, partners together. And then after the accident, uh, most times Victor resents uh, Reed Richards, Pedro, <laughs> uh, forget about that part. So will the Reed Richards and Victor Von Doom dynamic in the MCU's Secret War be a bit close to how important slash impactful it is in the 2015 Secret Wars comics? Perez responded, it's going to be hard if I'm perfectly honest with you, mainly because Doom and Reed don't really interact in the Fantastic Four movie. And Remember, the Fantastic Four is not set in the MCU Prime. It is set in another uh, multiverse, set in another Earth with a retro 60s timeline. And I believe that is where the Robert Downey Jr. Doctor Doom will come from. And they will ultimately introduce them all into our world. But uh, still, no explanation for why they wouldn't have a the same relationship. Uh, he elaborated, I like to think of it more as Thanos and Tony in Infinity War where like Tony knew a threat from space was coming, but he didn't know exactly who it was until Infinity War. Yet Thanos knew nearly everything he needed to know about Tony. Just switch Thanos with Doom and Tony with Reed, he summarized. So Dr. Doom is just gonna be some existential big bad threat that Reed is aware of even and then no prior familiarity, not a fan of that. Um, and then they go to recontextualize uh, re that in the 2015 Secret Wars, the relationship with Victor Von Doom is extremely personal. Uh, Victor Von Doom takes Sue Storm as well as her children with Reed Richards, Franklin and Valeria and his own as he becomes a god. The reason I'm reading this is because I think they're going to take some of this is what we've heard will be the actual Secret Wars movie where uh, they're going to make Kang a version of the Beyonder, a new actor, and or have uh, Dr. Doom do what he does right here, uh, trying to save from multiple incursions and universes, and that's how we get X-Men versus Avengers and stuff like that. And um, that's when you would see how important their relationship is. And uh, so I, I don't know if they're still going to do that, but last we heard, that was the plan, that, that the real Dr. Doom, not the Robert Downey Jr. variant that one plane, but the actual actor playing the real Doctor Doom was going to be the ultimate one settling up Battle World or whatever the hell they do. Uh, forgive me, uh, whatever the hell they do uh, with Tom Hardy and um, Tom Holland on the Spider Man movie in between Doomsday and Secret Wars, which is supposed to be an Avengers level threat. Either way, the reactions uh, to this of most people have been to point to the comics and how important they are in the comics and even the earlier movies. Uh, seems massive but again if you are gonna somehow really depends on if robert downey jr is playing the doom in his universe or not but either way having a read that has no idea really or any sort of closer relationship than it's victor von doom doesn't sound like a recipe for success uh here we go you see a friend of the channel Bo DeMeo, who knows a little something about character dynamics and uh coming up with uh a thought out story. I mean, God knows we'll never see the things he told us about seasons two, three, and four that were going to happen, but talking about X-Men 97, of course, but yeah, if he could, I'm sure he would have used uh, Dr. Doom and Fantastic Four because we saw those crossovers in the original. And yeah, you got to have that dynamic between Pedro and uh, Pedro. Read Ricardo and uh, Dr. Doom. And uh, yeah, he says, really hope this is false. Sort of misses the point. And yeah, that takes away a huge dynamic between them and just makes it a generic big bad 
So I don't know. Let me know what you think about this. Do you have any faith? I know most people are checked out on this movie simply because of Pedro. And you know what? That's all right. I understand you. Uh, either way, be sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well, bye.